Hey guys, it's XP50 time! I know people hate this plane. <laughs> oh, it's a... It's a plane. So I used to fly this plane a lot. Back a while ago when it was a tier 2 plane. And holy shit was it overpowered then. Then, uh, while it was still a tier 2 plane, while I was trying to grind up to the Sabre in tier 3, it stayed in my lineup even at tier 3, and I'd still regularly play it in tier 3. And it still felt overpowered in tier 3, in my opinion. And then they moved it up to tier 3, and they moved it up to tier 3 at the perfect time for me to start using it to grind up tier 4 planes. When it was a tier 2 plane, I couldn't use it to try and grind the Mustang because of the massive RP penalty, but they moved it up to tier 3, so all of a sudden I could use it again. So I started flying it in tier 3. Um, then it had its battle rank raised to the point where it's practically a tier 4 plane. It regularly sees the lower tier 4 planes. And I'm grinding jets. Those two things combined to make it completely useless for me, because I can't use it to grind jets, it's only tier 3. If they moved this plane up to tier 4, I could use it again. I actually gain stuff, but I have been flying it a little bit on and off just for the fun of it and <laughs> it, even up against the late tier 4 planes or the early tier 4 planes I mean it still feels overpowered to me in my opinion this plane's still up against 109 G10s I can out climb them I can outrun them and I can out turn them what what do they have yeah they have 30 millimeters great for them oh you know how I just said this plane's overpowered guess who's about to kill me that G10 no I'm kidding that other 109's coming in though. Turning up and away from him, he's gonna get shot. Where'd the other one go? Oh, where'd the other one go? Took my eyes off the second one. Alright, so I'm gonna focus on this guy because I know where he is. But, I do outturn them. Which is an absolutely brutal situation for the 109s to be in being outturned and outran and outclimbed it really it really hurts them so we're gonna make this into an energy fight Drop my landing flaps but uh, everyone that says it doesn't outturn 109s how do you explain this then this is an energy fight this is what 109s are supposed to be best at oh and he stalled out but I stalled out with him Yeah, what I just did would have been absolutely terrible. And now is he going to try and outrun me? I hope he does. That way I can show off how this plane's faster. Well. Just making sure nobody's above me. This plane's greatest strength is that nobody is ever above it. <laughs> Assuming you're not silly. But yeah, so I could probably press him if I wanted to. But I don't have a lot of cannon ammo. The one downside of this plane is the low ammo. Which, does this guy really want to go head on with me? Oh yeah, and the fact that every time it gets shot, it immediately loses one of its engines. He immediately, no matter what's shooting at it, crappy little 30s will annihilate it. So you do have to play rather cautiously, but that works just fine. And, uh, BT, uh, Dauntless apparently thought he could turn with me for a few seconds and he realized oh it's a BT oh that guy's ca oh I thought that was a Dauntless that's no that's the destroyer that's the American prototype dive bomber that uses the same two cannons I'm using except do they have they just have two I have one in each wing I have the two out the nose alright so that was <laughs> oops this plane this plane a lot of people have not been saying this. This actually isn't something commonly here, but this plane, other than the ridiculous climb rate, this aircraft with its climb rate pretty much halved is actually just about what a P-38 should fly like. The P-38 could outturn Mustangs pretty easily, and the Mustang could outturn pretty much all 190s as long as they weren't at extremely low altitude. Not easily, but it could. Which means the P-38 should at, le at the very least be on par with 109s and 190s at just sustained turn times. It wasn't anywhere near as agile. All that extra mass made it very hard to start changing direction, meaning the plane would respond slow and sluggishly, but once you jerked it into a turn, it should probably turn about as well as this plane does. It does climb way better than any of the Lightnings ever did. And the thing that makes this plane overpowered is the ridiculous climb rate. 
but the fact that it still turns like crazy doesn't exactly hurt. And because this plane climbs so well, it means landing to repair, you can get back up to altitude pretty fast. Assuming you don't get killed. Note, I'm still doing over 300 miles per hour. <laughs> Way faster than I want to be going. And why they put the XP-50, a, a one-off prototype in the game, when they could have put in the F-7F, an American, uh, American twin-engined Navy carrier fighter that we used significantly throughout the war, several thousand of which were manufactured before the XP-50 was... Well, actually, the XP-50 is the prototype that would eventually become the F-7F. But that plane, the Tiger Cat, I think is what it was called, or something like that, it was... I don't know that much about it, to be honest. It, we almost never used it as a fighter. The Hellcat was doing just fine. And then the Corsair came in, and the Corsair was also doing just fine. So why would we use the Tiger Cat if we already had something that worked? So we tended to use them almost exclusively for... Uh, for ground attack, along with the ground attack versions of the Mitchell. Fun fact, the ground attack version of the Mitchell, which they have confirmed will eventually be in-game, has 18 50 caliber machine guns, 14 of which fire forwards. The rest of which are the gunners. Yeah, I'd appreciate being able to repair. It would be nice, but I wouldn't mind not... I wouldn't mind. This plane is... If I ever saw one of these land on a runway, I would just immediately dive to it. <laughs> They're that good. They really are. Even even with the early tier four planes, the late tier four planes like the Bearcat um, and the N1K do start to outclass it. But this is a plane that is only outclassed by Bearcats and N1Ks, and it flies against everything except them. <laughs> so is it overpowered? Is it overpowered now? Still, in my opinion, yeah. <laughs> even though I haven't been able to get a si oh, I got a kill. All right, the B2B, yeah, got on a dive bomber, but yeah. So this isn't the best video to um, show how overpowered this plane is, but um, 30 degree climb with WEP accelerating. I'm gaining speed in a 30 degree climb. This is Arcade, and the, the 109K4, this basically, this basically has the flight model that made the 109K4 overpowered back when it was. It's no longer overpowered. If anything, they've, they've destroyed the poor little plane, but this lives on with its ridiculous flight model. Well, that's not ridiculous. This plane actually didn't perform like this. The only reason we never used it was because it was hyper unreliable and it just it fell apart. Its engines didn't work. It had a great climb rate. Oh, and its top speed actually is overperforming a little. This plane in reality wasn't that fast. Let's see if I can do a vertical reversal at 160. It, no other plane can if this one can. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this plane can energy fight. It can energy fight, it can turn fight, it can zoom fight, it can energy fight with 109s, it can energy fight with the best energy fighters in the game, it can zoom fight with most of the best and uh, most of the best zoom fighters in the game, and it can turn fight with anything except the best turn fighters in the game. So basically, don't turn with Spitfires, but you can do anything else to anyone else. It's just, it's just silly. The one downside is when you make the tiniest little mistake, you die in a big ball of flame. And I would highly recommend not going head on with P-38s. I can outrun him, I can outclimb him, I can do all kinds of things to him. I'm gonna go towards him, pick up speed, I'm gonna cut underneath him and then go vertical. Voidical. So note, we're gonna try this. We're gonna try to just straight dope or rope him. And it worked. Now we're gonna turn down on him and attack him. I just made him a beautiful target for half my team. So I'm going to attack him if I get the opportunity, but I don't want to give up too much altitude for him. All those nose-mounted weapons do make sniping at people at range pretty easy. I'd still recommend getting close rather than far. Again, I'd also recommend sticking to high altitude. This plane, uh, I'm not sure if it's broken or not, but its high altitude performance is pretty impressive. 
I said, I'm not sure if this plane performs unrealistically compared to the real one. I am absolutely certain that it performs way better than it should at this tier. <laughs> it performs like a late tier 4 plane. And at the worst, it's fighting early tier 4 planes. And I know I, that was not the best example. I'll upload another video here pretty soon of, of a much better example of how overpowered the XP-50 still is. But I've had people complaining saying they want their money back now that it's not a tier 2 plane. Especially now that it fights early tier 4 planes regularly. I highly, I firmly disagree with them. It is still, as far as premium planes go, most premium planes are just, it's a zero. I mean, it's just like the other zero, except the Americans get to use it. Just like the Hayen, except the Americans get to use it. Um, that actually is a little better than the uh, British Spitfire Mark IX, especially in realistic, which... So that that Spitfire is probably the only other premium plane to recommend getting. The Mustangs just you just get it in the gift pack, and I got the gift pack for the gold it came with. I didn't get the gift pack for the Mustang. It's nice having the Mustang, but it's I already have two of them, and I don't fly either of them either. So <laughs> other than realistic, which the other ones are just so it's it's just it's it's you have it or you have it. You don't have it. You don't have it. It's not really something you actually want. The XP50 is is it's easily. As far as premium planes go, there's there's no premium plane in the game that can compete with it. In fact, the only planes in the game that can compete with it have 5.7 and 6.0 battle rank. Uh, the 6.0 and 6.3 soon to be a 5.7 in the next update. Do the Russians have anything that can compete with it? This doesn't have the climb rate or the turn time to compete with it. The, the Yaks very well might. The Yaks very well may be able to compete with the XP-50, but not definitely in firepower, but still not really in the combination of maneuverability, energy fighting ability, and it does everything well. It doesn't have a serious weakness. The Ta-152 doesn't have as high a climb rate, but it is faster, and it does turn about as well, maybe a little worse. So the 152 might be better than the XP-50. The K4 isn't. It locks up at speed, even in arcade. It's just too, just it just doesn't zoom well enough, and it doesn't energy fight any better than the XP-50, and it doesn't turn as well as the XP-50. You've already seen I can outturn a G10, and I can out energy fight a G10. I might even be able to out zoom fight a G10. Being how big and heavy I am, yeah, it's faster than a G10, so it can outzoom G10s. The G10 has nothing. There's nothing a G10 can do. Um, I don't know about the D12. The earlier 190s are pretty good. I, I, I'll, I don't know about them. But see what I mean? These are these are tier four planes. The latest tier four planes, other than the N1K and the Bearcat, and possibly the Tempest. The Tempest doesn't have the climb rate though, so the Tempest isn't even going to be able to get up to fight me and by the time they do their high altitude performance is going to be low enough that they're just not going to be able to do anything so I just I can't I can't think of anything that can compete with this plane directly in a one-on-one -on -one. because of how fragile it is they don't need to compete with you much it only takes one person sticking up behind you getting a lucky shot and you're dead that's all it takes to kill you so you're definitely not invincible you're definitely very 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 vulnerable but as long as you pay attention and you play to its strengths, which is climb rate and speed, nothing bad can happen to you. And when bad things start happening to you, when a 109 sneaks up on you and gets right up beside you, you start turning, and all of a sudden you're on the 109's tail. <laughs> it's that good. <laughs> and so that uh, that was just a video of me ranting about how good it is. Uh, tune in in a few days or so for the video of me showing you how to do well in it if you aren't well in it already. So that was my recommending of a video. My how-to video on it will be in the near future. Have fun, and uh, please don't abuse this plane too much. If it's it's it definitely has nerfs in the future. If it's not going to just be removed completely, because it's just ah, oh, God.